one. This is my first, first YouTube live. Yeah, I know nobody's watching right now, but I'm sure you will at some point. And today I'm going to practice my Mandarin. Yeah, it's been a minute since I have practiced any Mandarin at all. I like Mandarin at all, but I don't necessarily like uh, Mandarin either. Uh, because uh, it is very difficult to remember a lot of the words that I had uh, tried to study and then end up never using in context or conversation. And uh, yeah, I mean, basically, basically. So for the person, <laughs> hello, for the person who is joining us right now, I would like to practice some Mandarin words. All right, so we are starting with she, he or she is willingly not singing. Ta gan shen ching huan de. Oh, they left. That's okay. Bu chang ge. Willingly, willingly not sing song. Not be still at seaside it's not the case that he or she is at the beach that it's that he or she is still at school da bu shu hai sai hai bian 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 yeah bian ta shu hai sai shu xiao and i'm sorry that my pronunciation is fucked up because it just is anyway isn't it true that you still work ni bu hai hai sorry it's hai swall shi ma i don't like the way that my mouth contorts <laughs> i don't like the way that my mouth contorts Whenever I'm saying Mandarin words, because I'm trying to differentiate the tones, and boy, can it be difficult. Okay. He has died before. Ta se guo. He has been old before. Ta lao guo. This has to be done again. She get de kong sen suo guo. This must from new do. I uh, I like that the book that I have with me, which is uh, Mandarin Chinese, a handbook. It gives me what it would literally translate to, and directly underneath it, what it would what it should be in english like if it was grammatically correct in english therefore i today give one dog today i gave him a dog therefore today i gave him a dog suo ye wo zhen ten song le ta interesting so basically, every single word that has day in it will have the word ten. Like, zuo ten means yesterday. Zhen ten means today. Wo zhe xie chun yan jie hun zhen yan sheng yi ge hai si. My elder sister got married last year, and this time she gave birth to a child. Wow. A full child. Ooh. Was what ten was shang con bian shi fang liang shuang was se zhu ku shui jiao. Last night I watched TV, sewed two pairs of socks, and went to bed. Though it literally means went to sleep. Now, Liang Shuang 
means two pair. I believe it's boo for if it's just regular two. I can't fact check this because we're live right now. Adverbs. Zhang San Gang Lai. Zhang San has just arrived. Zhang San Tai Gao. Zhang San is too tall. Zhang San Zhen Kong Ming. Zhang San is really smart. Michael. Zhen Kong Ming. You know what I mean? <laughs> My book is falling apart. You see this? Well, you can't see it. You you can't see it, but like it is falling apart on me as we speak. What a wonderful experience. Oh, there's a fly. Okay, back to reading. Shi bang, ten pounds. Shi bang rao, ten pounds of meat. Lu li lu. Liu li lu. Six mile road. What a tongue twister, man, for real. Ne jin. That. Tell. T A E O. I don't know what a T A E L is. Oh, oh, okay. I guess they they missed they misspelled the tail. They misspelled T A I E L and they made it T A E L. Who made this book? I don't know. Charles N. Lee and Sandra Thompson. Uh, and I guess it was from Utah. It's weird, uh, because I've never been to Utah, and this is where the book came from. I remember us ordering it online, uh, like, last year, and, um, I never actually, like, had known where it came from. It was, like, a birthday gift of some sort, but I never, like, stopped and thought, huh... Maybe these people weren't very good at English when they made the book. Because how are you going to misspell basic things? Bang bang rao dao yao cha. Every pound of meat needs to be examined. Why does it need to be examined? I don't know. That's just the example. It gives so many different examples in this book. Like, just the most off-the-wall stuff. That's important. Like, if you are studying a language, you need to be studying it in context. You need to be watching and reading in context with what you are seeing. You need to... If you want to know a word, you have to know the word in context. For instance... <coughs> tian Tian means every day. But you're not going to remember Tian Tian. Uh, the meaning every day, unless you throw it in in a sentence, such as, oh shit, this is the one that doesn't have one. Okay, okay, I'll come up with one off the top of my head. Screw it. Tian Tian Wo Shuo Po Tang Hua. Every day I study Mandarin. That is context. You're more likely to remember that Tian Tian means every day, if you remember the sentence that goes with it. Pian, Pian, Wen, Shang. Every article. Pian is the classifier for Wang, Shang. Okay, so for more context, articles in Mandarin isn't like the, or, or, or like ella, or, uh, Le or uh, uh shit, I forgot the other I, for, I forgot the other fucking article in uh in French. That's my bad. But and don't and don't <laughs> don't leave I curse so much. I curse so much, I curse like a sailor. But basically, if you have a number in Mandarin, you need to have something to go with that number. 
Um, it's like two books versus two things. If you have a classifier, you are literally, um, you are literally, yes, explosives matter. <laughs> if you have a classifier, if you have an, if you have a classifier, you are explaining what the object is. You are going from the non-specific to the specific because they have a classifier for anything and you can use that classifier just fine grammatically like everybody will know what you mean because it's like two of that thing but if you use the specific classifier you are moving from the non-general into the specific does that make sense it okay if for instance shang shang xi yes one cup of water one sheet of paper Exactly. You are you are telling what is among what is in there. Uh, uh, you you would have um, in this case with every article, pian pian. Uh, uh, there's a tone change though, uh, so be careful with that. Pian pian, Wang Shang. Every article, you would say the first pian as the classifier of article. It is in the article, every article. Booyah. And that's how to differentiate between various classifiers in Mandarin. It is such a huge part of the grammar. And if you can master five or six of the classifiers, then you already have so much grammar already down. Uh, Mandarin grammar is not as difficult as a lot of people say that it is. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of unfamiliar terms but that's just the vocabulary if you can if you can f understand how a sentence works in mandarin you're going to understand how many sentences work in in mandarin you are going to understand how a lot of sentences work because there are very few rule changes there's it's not like french where there's something going on that completely changes, and there's an exception to every single rule. Uh, for example, il um, n'est pas, it is not, uh, but I I believe it becomes il n'y pas, if, if it's uh, to have, I mean, if I don't have, I need to get back into French too. There's a lot of things I need to study. There's a lot of things that I need to study, and it's very difficult to find the time to study everything. Me, this is me studying during a live video for YouTube. Isn't that great? I am living in 2019. I am studying as I work. That's how to do it. Whew, okay. This one, this one is, this one's interesting. So there's two different words for sleep in Mandarin. Um, there is shui, which I guess is more of the action of sleeping. And then there's zhao, which I believe acts as a classifier. But I'm not sure. Because I can't remember what my tutor had taught me last year about sleeping in Mandarin. But basically, shui, yi, zhao means take a nap. Shui, le, san, ge, zhang, tao, de, zhao means I slept for three hours. <sighs> Wish I could sleep for three hours. I don't get enough sleep. I had a real good sleep. Also something that didn't happen. <laughs> Ugh, sleeping habits. Zhang San Bi Le Ye Le. Zhang San has graduated. Bi Ye means finishing. Bi Le Ye. The lay in the middle makes it the past tense. 
finished instructions. And then they use le again at the end of the sentence to confirm that the entire sentence is in the past tense. Zhang san bi le ye le. Zhang san. Uh, gotcha. Zhang san has graduated. I like it. Da hai me li guo fa. He still hasn't ever had a haircut. Which I actually got one recently. So that example just doesn't fit my lifestyle anymore. Pre, pre cooked staple food. Gan lang. Long is the classifier. And gone would be the adjective, but I don't know what I mean. It it it, it translates literally into dry food, but I don't know what a pre-cooked staple food would be. I guess it would be like I don't know, maybe like uh... well, shit. I don't even have any pre-cooked staple foods. I don't have anything pre-cooked here. Like, I have to do everything to make my meals. And I have sandwich meat. That's about it. That's about it, really. Piao liang nu hai si. Beautiful female child. A beautiful girl. Rong ye de wen te. An easy problem. Well, there's lots of that. There's lots of those easy problems. Gao den nan hai si. A tall boy. Or tall male child. Fu se de xiang xiang. A complex, a complex problem. A complex problem. Zhang Yao Ren, important person. Ren, Ren, Ren is a very important classifier. It means person in Mandarin. If you can see the char if you if you can like see the character, it's like that because everything is character based, as you know in Mandarin, and that is the character. But if you can recognize that, you can start reading Mandarin sentences, like, off the bat. Because anything describing a person will most likely have the Ren character in it. Um, and something else that a lot of people don't understand about Mandarin is that a lot of the characters, if it's describing something, it's going to have the character, like composed of it because a mandarin is agglutinative in a way in its actual character system yeah i know right it's just ridiculous there's just so many uh uh like uh, it, it, it's boggling you can read a little bit of a character and understand a bit of the character if you it, because they just combine everything uh, um Ren Wu, it means personage, and they, and it has, like, I can't, I, I don't have the character in front of me, but I remember uh, uh, Ren Wu, which translates into something a little bit better than that, but it has the little thing in there, it has that little character in there, and you're able to recognize it, it's referring to a person. Ooh, this one's a difficult, okay, okay. <sighs> Okay, that scientist at your school who came from China. The whenever I first started learning Mandarin, it was the um, it was those tone changes that I kept slipping up on because I have a real difficult time sleep. It, 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 I have a difficult time sleeping, but I also have a very difficult time, like, trying to trying to pronounce things. 
French was so bad when I first started learning French because like every time I, I tried to use the back of my mouth to pronounce something, like it it just triggered a gag reflex. And even to this day, like if I'm if I'm saying too much in French, like it just kicks in that gag reflex and it feels really weird. And I don't know if anybody else has ever had that problem. Maybe it's just me, but like, what the heck body? What the heck? He has an idea for making money. Let's start a YouTube channel. Hey, da yo ye fang fa. Oh yeah. The R in French. It's not that bad though. It's what? What's a French word I can? Say? Uh, um, give me a French word. Any any French word with R in it. Any any with R in it. I can't I can't think of any off the top of my head. It's um, yeah. <laughs> heck yeah. Au revoir. Au revoir. It, it, it's uh, it's that trilling sound. It's the same trilling sound that you devenir, devenir. It's the same trilling sound, rouge, rouge, or is it just rue? No, no, no. Rue is its own word. That's rouge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because rouge is also a form of makeup, and that's how they pronounce the makeup. Yeah. Never worn makeup, though, so can't 100% confirm. I don't even know if they use the term rouge for makeup anymore. But that's how they, like, said it in old books. And that's all I ever read as a child was old books. So that's all my vocabulary is old. I'm not on fleet, as the children say nowadays. Mm. <laughs> Strong trailed R actually is the second R of War one. Of War, no, because you don't pronounce the second R in R of War. Uh, War because it, 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 you don't pronounce that ending. Because if you did pronounce the ending, it would be closer to R of or uh, R of War. But you don't you don't end up pr end up pronouncing the uh, uh, second one I think. I need to give, we need to next live video I'll just practice French I'll just practice French the entire time and I'll get my French back down. Yeah yeah that sounds about right. You know I learned Spanish for four years in high school and then I went into retail and I started having conversations in fr in Spanish and I realized that I didn't know how to speak any Spanish at all. They didn't, they wouldn't force us to practice Spanish. They would just, um, like, we would just read it out of books. We would, like, write stuff on the board. And then we never had any actual practice with it. My, I had a college-level Spanish class in high school, and she didn't make us speak it once in the class. And then when I had the actual college exam for it, I failed. I got like the lowest score possible because I couldn't like think in Spanish. I couldn't say anything in Spanish. I couldn't write anything in Spanish. I had like maybe four sentences down and I'm pretty sure I couldn't even answer the, I didn't even answer the question properly because I didn't know what the question said. School just does not adequately teach you anything about a language. It doesn't show you how to use a language in context. I'm doing a live video for YouTube. I got one person. Well, you shouldn't have come in here if you didn't want to be in the video. <laughs> That's why I yelled. Who's watching you? Uh, my friend Tessa on YouTube. <laughs> my subscriber Tessa on YouTube. She's watching. <laughs> Bonjour. See, she says hello in two languages. We're we're fluent. I say it in different language. <laughs> Big Facebook fan. I uh can can you say it in sign language? What? Hello. Can you, you just say it? Oh, do it again. Do it again. Is oh that's that's that's, that's all. Oh, okay. That's nice. It's cool. 
That's how to say school. I can do. Hold this. Hold this. Hold this. I can do. That's the that's you sign. I am learning signs. Okay, that's the rest of my time. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that's all I can do. I well uh on switched at birth. Uh-huh. This means Regina. This, this this means Regina. This means Regina. You need an R and then like this. Um this means father. This means father. Yeah, hello is a really good start. <laughs> it's the one word that everybody this is father, knows. Um, this is mother. This is mother. This is mother. Well, it's just this. This is mother. Is mother. No, this is mother or this is mother? This is mother. This is mother. Okay. This, this is, mother. is mother. Okay, <laughs> this so. This is mother. This is father. This, <laughs> <laughs> this is father. This is mother. Uh. This, something like this, yeah. Girl, and something like that. Girl, maybe it's not there. You know, you know what? I should have like an action. I could, I should have like people come over here, and do like videos of us just like learning. Yeah, like, at birth, you'll learn sign language. Pick it up pretty good. Yeah, I don't like TV that much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like TV that um, much. Um, this is make out. Us later. <laughs> <laughs> this is make though. This, like this. this is make with a two. This is make. This is make out though. Or you twist them, it's make out. Oh, this okay. <laughs> See, she hard. That that also means I'm funny and I'm a comedian. I don't know why you ever doubted me. <laughs> this is the big time, folks. The big time. Um, like churning butter. That's making out is just like churning butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Instinct. That's sign. Yeah. Um. Oh. <laughs> that was my neck. I heard it. This is an H. <laughs> I know that much. <laughs> this means on fleek. Just kidding. It's H E L L O. Hello? Yeah. That's how you spell it in sign language. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. This meant Daphne. As in the um the character on. Oh, as in like, you know, Daphne from Scooby Doo. Yeah, or something. it means uh this is Joy. Joy. So it's Joy with a D. Joy with a D. That's what they called her. Oh, okay. That's interesting. That's basically what they called her in sign language. <laughs> Joy with D. <laughs> um this meant Bay. This means Bay. Yeah, she was the other main character. Oh, okay. So I was thought I thought you meant like the term Bay as in no. boyfriend or girlfriend. No, her name was Bay. <laughs> um You wanna pronounce Mandarin words? Here, come here. Sure. Come here. Come here. Let's see if you can pronounce I wanna find one that seems funny. Yeah. Let's find one that seems funny. Hold on, where did it go? I just seen one. I don't know. <laughs> she deliberately didn't drink wine. She deliberately didn't drink the wine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say that. Okay, okay. Ta. Is that ta? Ta. That means? Yeah. Okay, so ta. Okay, a quick word about those little symbols. If it goes down, that's a, 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 a falling tone. That would be like, goo. And then if it's like that, it'd be like, hey. Like you just, you just like it's a flat neutral. And then so if it's, it's uh, uh, and if it's going up, that means you're that's not going. That's going down and up, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That means uh, 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 this one this would one's be going up. G U. Okay, so ta, gu yi, bu he, ju yi. Ju, but you did really good. Cool. Cool. Chang chang. <laughs> chang chang. <laughs> Gang gang. Gang. Gang, 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 <laughs> Me in 2019. Gang, gang. I learned two new words. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> you killed me. Good eye on the down up spot. Thank you. Or 
congratulations to her, whichever one you were referring to. <laughs> Thanks. I'll take the praise. It wasn't you. Oh, okay. Well, good job then. <laughs> I pointed out that it wasn't going down. It was going down the top. Yeah. That's just hi. Yeah. That's how I used to spell hi whenever I was in my scene phase, except I had two eyes. And that means moderately. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Do you love me? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Moderately. Thanks. <laughs> uh, good times. Ooh, try this one. Because it's you. <laughs> woman? It's wool. <laughs> wool. Woman? Wool. Woman? Woman on the one car? What? <laughs> That's what it says. It means we. Now how does woman mean we? It's it's Mandarin. Just ask Mandarin people. Woman Zai Yao Cafe. Well the Z H is pronounced ch. Oh so it's shy. shy. A woman shy Yao Cafe. That's we cool. only want coffee. That's the only word I messed up. You did really good. You made it seem like I fucked it up. No, I was just I was just uh, pointing out how that's pronounced. Zhu. Zhu. Like jujube. Yeah, it means soon. Jujubes are really good candies. <laughs> <laughs> Solidly true example. That's the that's the stuff. It's so true. I love coffee. What does that mean? Zog son. Oh, that's just a, a name. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it does. I mean, it might. It probably means something because most Chinese names end up meaning something. I'm just but... wondering because it does that in a lot of these. It like has the name and then it has it again in English. Yeah, yeah. It, the, the textbook is a little weird. It, 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 it's it's pretty weird actually. Xing Xing Ding. Xing Xing. Xing Xing that means Shang Shen, Shang Shen of. It means quietly. <laughs> oh, you said Jing Jing Day. Oh, okay. Jing Jing Day. I was just Jing whisper. Jing I was saying it quietly because it oh, means quietly. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. You know. Okay. <laughs> well. Ying. Ying. Ma. 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 Ma is a, ma. it. Me. Ma turns it into a question. So if you oh. if you make a statement, you put ma at the end, it becomes a question. Woman hai bu zidao. We still don't know. Ma. <laughs> we still Do don't we know. still know? <laughs> Do we still not know? <laughs> this is me. Oh, never mind. Here exists, here, here, hold here on. also exists Rose. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need to find a different, another word. Okay, all right. Second, I'm gonna put together a sentence. Oh, okay, yeah. Create your own sentence. Let's do it. Ooh, money. <laughs> Ooh, one. My, Ooh, money. <laughs> Me on payday. I need the word do. Do? Yes. What is the word for? What is the word for do? Found it. Oh, zuo. <laughs> zuo. 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 So, oh, yeah. Woman, uh huh. Z, uh huh. Or, sorry, she. Woman is we, yeah. Zao. Zao. Zuo. 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 Bu. Bu. Yao. Yao. She does not need money. We do not exist. Oh. And she leaves. Comedic timing. Comedic um, timing. I'll pick up the plate. I will. I see that it's dropped. It is on the floor in front of me as we... And she left. Okay. <laughs> Am I right? Have you eaten? Ni. <laughs> Oops. Ni chi wo fan le mei yo. Oh, yeah. She's <laughs> showing off her Harry Potter phone cases. Lit. <laughs> More lit than your phone case. I mean, I don't even have a phone case. I have five. <laughs> <laughs> she has five phone cases. I've never I bought have myself one. I a black one, a blue sparkly one. I have two Harry Potter ones, and I have a clear purple one that has 
a clear one that has purple floating hearts in it. Okay. And I have a Shane Dawson Illuminati pop so I mean, that'd be Shane nice. Dawson is life, though, honestly. Harry Potter is it's life. It's the YouTuber I want to be. Harry Potter is life. Harry Potter is great. These are the only two fun Because internets. <laughs> <laughs> These are the only two fun cases for Harry Potter that I could find that would fit my phone. That sucks. But they were cool, so. I mean, I don't really care about this one. I like I mean, I would use it, but my phone is completely different. Your phone is very much smaller than mine. Yeah, my phone is tiny. Yeah, I mean, my volume button is on the other side, too, so. Uh, I mean, yeah, okay, that that's another difference between our phones. All right, back to more knowledge. John met Mary in Tokyo. John John wa Tokyo de Mary ni at da. Wow. Okay. How how do I even break that sentence down? I don't. I've never never seen the word wa before in context. And the book gives me absolutely no examples of why I use wa. Cool. <laughs> cool. Great. Anyway, moving on to a different sentence then. Oh, okay, this one this one's fun. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Blast it, I can't live stream and YouTube at the same time. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Nay, actually, I could if I was on my laptop, but I'm on my phone. Yeah, but then I'd have to turn on my hotspot because I don't have any internet at my place. Because I owe them money. I owe the internet people money. Nian top hen sin sang. I will, unfortunately, see the wa again. It's <laughs> There's a lot of words that... Yeah, I mean, honestly, though, there's a lot of words that I'm just going to keep saying again and again until like they just become enforced into my head. And that's why uh, whenever I, I learn a language, I, I begin learning a language, I take a... Um, I take... A, I, I take the very basics of what I want to say and I turn it into a script. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, there's a lot of words, uh, a, a lot of words that you would um, see at one point and you're like, I have no freaking clue what that means. But... If you learn enough of the grammar, uh, it, like for example, in, in cases in Russian, like there's so many different words to say job, woman, school, etc. But if you see it enough in context, you'll start to realize what that word, like why that word changes. Uh, for instance, uh, means milk in Russian. But molaki means milks in Russian, which sounds awkward because nobody, I, I, I don't think a lot of people would say milks. But if you wanted to form a plural, you would just drop the ol and form and, and add the, uh, um, the I sound. So it becomes molaki. And uh, you can do that with several of the words. Um, but I can't. I can't remember any other words in Russian because I've I've put myself on the spot. Ugh, I need to get back into learning more Russian too. There's just so much to learn. So little time to learn everything. Xiangxiang pa duo bihu, or bihu. Sorry, no, it's bi. Uh, I can't read bihu. The wall has a. The wall has a lot of salamanders crawling on it. Bihu. 
means salamander. I don't know if that word's ever going to come back up. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's one of those once-in-a-lifetime words. Like, whenever you're reading an article in a, in a foreign language and you hear and you see a word for the first time, you look it up and you're like, oh, wow, that's really interesting. I'm going to learn that word. And then you never see that word again until like two years later and you see that word again and you're like, oh, shoot, I used to know that word. And it's and you just and you just don't remember it. But you used to know that word because you were like, that's really cool. <laughs> they're covered in moss. They're covered in salamanders, and they're covered in dank memes. <laughs> oh, my dumbest joke today. And I made a couple jokes today. Noodles, I like to eat spicy ones the best. I learned this. <laughs> Isn't that it, though? Like, you could learn something, and, like, a day later, you could just not know it at all. And you could be like, I learned how to do this. But I need a reminder as to what that is. Today, for example, I was at work. I was in the photo lab because I work at, I work in a, in a pharmacy and we have a, a photo department. We have beauty. We have a bunch of other stuff. And I was over at the photo lab and I've been shown how to do a canvas eight or nine times. And I've done it like maybe twice by myself, maybe four times. And... Today, I had to have my, my new assistant manager show me how to do it again, guide me through all the steps. And it was embarrassing because I was like, I'm trying to make a good impression here. But, again, I need to be shown how to do it again. She was probably thinking, wait a second, he's been here for, for a year and like four months now. Yeah, exactly. Just a big old freaking brain fart. He's been here for a year and four months now, and he don't know how to make a canvas. He's in the, he's a manager here, and he doesn't even know how to make a canvas. Huh. Well, she's, she was nice, so I, I seriously doubt like she was thinking that. Or she could have been. And she was just being nice. That's what I would do. Ooh, this is a fun word. Da shui means university. The thing I dropped out from. Da shui xian sai duo ban xie nan nu tong zhao. Universities, most are co-educational co these days. Okay, okay, so if you combine the word for boy and girl, it becomes co-educational in this context. Nan nu Co-educational. They dorm together. That's really interesting. That's really interesting. Zhe ge dong shi ming se zhao yan shi. This thing is called a television. How old is this book? Like, that that doesn't <laughs> that doesn't feel like a very good example for today's modern times. I, 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 I really doubt that. Oh! This book was made in 1940. <laughs> I wrote out the car window and asked, what is this thing? It's a TV! This was made in 1940. Holy cow. I have history here. Holy shit. No wonder it costs so much on... No much. Oh my gosh. These examples are terrible. Wow. Yo ren ni da dian hua. Someone telephoned you. Lucy, someone telephoned you. I'll be right there, Ricardo. These examples are so old. <laughs> so old. Just like my horrible references. Oh, okay, okay. Zhang Zan Hu Chuo Zhang Hua Hua. 
Zhang Suan, Zhang San can speak Chinese. It's really interesting though because if you if you go to like the Mandarin mainland, they'll say Putonghua instead. Uh, I think that means the common tongue or something. I can't remember what Putonghua means, but um, Zhonghua just means China, and and then adding Shuo before it means you speak Chinese. But they refer to it on the mainland as Putong Kwa. And that's what, that's how I, whenever I, I was like practicing Chinese, whenever I was practicing Mandarin, sorry. Whenever I was practicing Mandarin, I would always say Putong Kwa because my tutor, he uh, actually lives on, uh, uh, he actually lives like five hours west of Beijing out in, uh, he, he's at a, he's at a college somewhere like five hours west of Beijing. And I I met him through Facebook. Am I allowed am I allowed to say he, he's he because like Facebook is banned in well as long as long as I don't say his name, I don't think like he'll get in trouble with the Chinese government or anything. But, like, I met him through Facebook, and uh, uh, he wanted to learn more English, and I wanted to learn Mandarin. So he taught me a bunch of Mandarin from scratch, and his dialect reflects the language. Because if he was from Taiwan and he was teaching me, I would have a whole different set of vocabulary words, because they're so different. The uh, uh, Taiwanese... It, it, okay, Taiwan is not progressive uh, uh, politically, and neither is China, uh, mainland China, but Taiwan is more progressive than China. So their re vocabulary, for instance, would reflect that progressivity. Um, I keep meaning to watch it, but there was this uh, a, a video uploaded by Easy Languages uh, yesterday or two days ago. Uh, they uh, for easy Taiwanese Mandarin, and it was on uh, how people viewed same-sex marriage in China. And I keep meaning to uh, to watch it because uh, you know I'm bisexual, and uh, uh, like I, I'm always interested in in uh, learning how other cultures perceive it. Uh, and normally, Easy Languages is really good about getting both the good and the bad in their interviews on the streets. Uh, for instance, whenever they had a German, a easy German video on marijuana. They had both people who agreed with marijuana and disagreed with marijuana. And that was really cool uh, because, you know, I want to see what everybody thinks about it, not just like one side of the issue thinks about it. Because individuals do not reflect culture. Oh, yeah. It's... Uh, um, it's really interesting and useful. It, it, as, whenever we get off this live stream or whenever you log out, go to Easy Languages, subscribe to their channel. They do awesome work. They have a video almost every single day, just an interview in a different language uh, on the streets of the cities that speak this language. Uh, they have Easy Greek, Easy... They just did Easy Turkish. They just did Easy Turkish yesterday for the first time. And that got me pumped because I love the Turkish language. I don't get to study enough of it because I don't have the time. But it's really cool that they ha they're they starting to enter into that. Asia Boss. I like Asia Boss. I haven't heard of Hechalism, but I have heard of Sulfa before. If that's how to pronounce it, yeah, yeah, I think I think so. It's hard. It's hard to know how YouTubers pronounce their own stuff unless I watch their content on a regular basis. Like PewDiePie, like I, I, I it, like looking at the word, I would, <laughs> I wouldn't assume that it's pronounced PewDiePie, because like, who thinks P E W means? I mean, it sounds like pew. Uh, like, wait, wait, pew. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like Gucci, I would never have thought that Gucci's pronounced Gucci. I would, I like looking at it for the first time when I was a kid. I was like, Goosey, 
Goosey? Is this how to pronounce Goosey? And then somebody made fun of me for it. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, good times. Good times. All right. Back to more Mandarin. I have already rented out that house. He slash she has already finished his or her homework. Welcome to whoever just entered the live stream. Or if that was Tessa, welcome back. Uh, Nang Lai, I very can, I very can come. It, it, it doesn't, okay, 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 I get it. You can't say Wohen Nang Lai, because that's not correct grammatically, so they don't give me a translation of it. I guess they don't want me to think about using it in con they, they don't give me a translation because they don't want me to use it in uh, this book is so old this book is so old so like it's not updated teaching practices it doesn't even have the characters really so like honestly you, you would think that it's a little bit more useful yeah yeah i guess so uh, the way that they teach Mandarin in actual China is, like, completely different. They teach it in blocks. So, like, they will teach everything in phrases and have that person learn the phrases first. And then it, it, it just makes sense. You shouldn't just learn the individual words in, in any language, really. You should be learning in context. And the way that they teach it makes sense. You never really think about how you learn a language when you're younger because you're just, like, doing it. You're not really, like, thinking about learning the language whenever you're like, Mom, I want to do such and such. You have a need, and you fulfill that need with the way that you talk. And you, whenever you have to learn a language from scratch, like, you know, me and you are doing Mandarin or French or Spanish or whatever language, the... The language that we have from scratch. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Who knows? Exactly. Like, y you just know. Because you, you have a need. You hear somebody else, like, expressing their need. You copy that. But from scratch, you have to... Y you don't like hear somebody expressing that need so you can't express that need and that's why conversations and practices in real life are incredibly important for learning a language uh if you want to be flu fully fluent because if you can't learn to express a need in the language then you're not going to feel like you need to use the language uh, whenever i go to the uh, mexican restaurant down on the street i speak only spanish because I have to feel that I need to speak Spanish with them in order to fully get the Spanish. I'm not going to um, go to go there, use English, because I'm not going to feel like I need to use Spanish, so thus I'm not going to try to use Spanish. If I throw myself, if I throw myself under the bus, and I force myself to speak a language, I'm going to learn a lot more than if I was just Google translating the entire time. Uh, I won't, whenever I have a customer at work, I will not touch my phone. I will not translate anything. I will use what vocabulary, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. The joy of languages li library, language challenge is particularly good. I've never been able to follow through with on that because I'm very terrible at uh, uh, keeping a schedule. Ha! 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 The fly's been flying around for like an hour now, and I finally got it. Mm. 
If anything came out of this video. <laughs> oh, good, good. I I interviewed her uh, for um, the Silly Linguistics podcast two months ago, and it was really good. <laughs> well, at least you tried, you know. It's it's not like it's not like you don't you didn't try. Yeah, I got I got a phrase, I got a fly, <laughs> I got a mic. Hey that's how to that's how to do a live stream, guys. That's how to do a live stream. Yeah <laughs> you succeed. Hashtag winning. <laughs> so great. But I absolutely love uh, uh, Katie Harris. She's wonderful. Um, I'll drop a link in the description because I because this will be uploaded after the live stream. I don't know how live streams work. I know like you can see it immediately afterwards. I guess this is just kind of happening and it's uploading automatically. But it's not saving to my phone, which is important because I have run out of space on my phone and I need to delete things. Uh, so that's why that's why I made this video today, and because I want to do a le uh, I want to do a live stream every single week. But th I haven't advertised this at all. Like you probably, yeah, great. I can save it after. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, I, I wanted to do it every single week, uh, but I wanted to like kind of test it out how it would do. Uh, you're 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 great. Yeah, this is the test run of the lot of the weekly live streams, <sighs> and it just works. And it just works. It's fantastic. The uh, um, I like I like this intimate format uh, with the audience. Being able to express uh, with the audience uh, um, uh, being able to express myself with the audience, them expressing themselves back and me responding to their expressions like it, it, like an actual conversation in a way. Uh, that, that's how I do my podcast really like uh, uh, they it, it gets kind of awkward during the podcast and they're like, oh, we don't know anything about you. Can you describe yourself? And I'm like, uh, no, because I'm uh, I, I have you on. Everybody already knows about me. If they've if they watched the, the podcast before, then they know all that they need to know about me. Twas fun, but we need discipline. <laughs> I'll use my computer for characters next time. Sounds fun. I'm probably going to go now because I need to get a little bit of rest. I remembered something. TMI time. <laughs> Too much information time. What do you remember? I know how to say something in Mandarin. How do you, what do you say in Mandarin? <laughs> say it. <laughs> do you want me to say it in Mandarin or in English? <laughs> it's a good podcast. Oh, go ahead. Jinjaiji. What does Jinjai mean? mean? Jinjaiji. What does it mean? It means have a good summer. Have a good summer. <laughs> it's in Camp Rock. <laughs> she walks up to uh, Michi. She goes, Jinjaiji, Michi. It means have a good summer. I guess we got an A plus and AP Mandarin again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this was a wonderful uh, live stream. See you next time, Tessa. Thank you for joining me. It's a and to wonderful all... live stream to all of one person. <laughs> hey, one person is a success. <laughs> bye. You have one like. Say bye. Toodles. Or don't say toodles. Toodles. How do I exit? You push the X. Oh, I press the X. Okay. That's cool. <laughs>